So I'm back on the Fox River in De Pere and I'm actually doing this interview after the day of fishing because honestly you never know what you're going to get out here. I'm in the one man clam coffin for the entire day. We did get into the walleyes and the whitefish and got some cool underwater footage for you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. There's one little guy. Start out the morning. One is better than none. Right about a 14 inch on the big shaker. Um, I was actually just dead sticking it. I was getting ready to go outside and look around and this thing popped up. Nice little fish. We'll get him back down the hole. My heater went out so I gotta get that going. Not marking many fish yet, but that one was aggressive. Well, it's light enough right now that I'm gonna give this old GoPro 4 a try to see if I can't get a little bit of underwater footage. We've been seeing a lot of fish right underneath the ice. Try to get some footage for you, whether it's just fish falling up baits, striking at baits, or hopefully coming up the hole. So I just got this thing tied off to the shack so it doesn't go anywhere. This little GoPro 4 is a beast in terms of battery life compared to the new ones. So I'm thinking it's gonna run at least an hour. So if we can put a fish or two on the ice for you. Fish on. Ah, uh, got one, Scotty. Nice eater. Boy, these fish have not been cooperating today. Big shaky. Big shaker got him again. I had to work for him. I knew he wasn't that big of a fish, but that is a nice keeper and Scotty wants to keep some fish. What do you think Scotty? What do you know buddy? <laughs> I think he's dead. We're going right below the hole right now. Nice fish. Probably about 17 inches long so hopefully that's a sign of things to come even if we just peck them off as they come through but he definitely hammered it so get back down there get the big shaker rocking that was him or not Fish on. There's a nice one. That's a nice fish right there. All right, starting to get a little bit more aggressive. He's got some of those cold water warts on him. They're still fine to eat. Just something that these fish get during the winter time. 
that when I dropped it down in the column, fluttered it past him. And he just came and chased it up, went past it, came back down, popped it right in the hook of the mouth here. Make sure I don't ruin my hook here. Good possibility I might. Nice fish. Choke down that big shaker. I am not sponsored by these guys. It was just a bait that we discovered, and it seems to be the trick right now. If I could. Ever... Right, the walleye bite has died down. Um, I was on Facebook the other day and saw that guys were catching whitefish right underneath the ice. I haven't seen them all morning, so I'm gonna bump out to a little bit deeper water because I don't see them as much as it was early this morning. Let's see if I can't sight fish some of these things before the walleye bite in the afternoon. So I'm just going to put on a tungsten jig with like a two inch gulp minnow. I've had some pretty good success with that out on the bay. So these fish are in the same area code. See if they like it. Some white fish here, right underneath the ice. Beyond something here. These whitefish, Jesus Lord, are squirmy. <laughs> they are everywhere below the ice. I've been seeing them all morning. Walleye fishing was slow. So I figured out a pattern gold tungsten that's two in about a minute. Gold tungsten with a little two inch gulp right below the ice. I'm not going to keep them. This is fun at sight fishing. I wonder if a waxy would work just as good, but I like the action of this little gulp tail. Oh, he just missed it. Hang on, Scott, I gotta go. <laughs> Here he comes, bye. There's one. Sight fishing for whiteies. This is pretty fun. Fight and fight and fight. All right, that's fish number three. If you're bored out on the river, these things are everywhere. I had this GoPro down there the other day, and even this morning, and they are flying around everywhere. It's tempting to try to keep these fish because they're good eating, but I'm having too much fun catching them, and I'm not gonna have time later to clean them, so. See you later, buddy. Wiped that, but missed it. Here he comes. Bunch of them. Yeah, I got him. It's a nice one. Ooh, that's a big fat one. Turned over in the hole. Come on, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, my lord. Oh, these things are fun to catch. There's another one. There's just, I just got this two inch gulp on, and I'm just swimming around the bottom of the hole, and they show up. And you gotta slow it down for them to hit it, but 
This is fun. This is fun. This is a great way to kill the lull of the walleye morning and afternoon bite. All right, let's keep getting after it. Now for this type of sight fishing, you kind of want a short rod. About the only time you want one of those, right boys? But since you're gonna be leaning over the top of the hole, you don't want a 36, 38 inch rod that's gonna be going past the hole. So this is kind of topping out at 32. I was using a 28 before, but this one's got a little bit more give to play these white fish out. And then when you're tying on the jig, what I've been finding is, if I'm angling that knot towards the back end of the hook side, so when that thing is in the water, it's slightly angled down, as opposed to completely horizontal or even tipped up. So it's important after you catch one to reposition that knot so you get that right action. And essentially what I'm doing is, I'm just flicking my wrist and getting this thing to kind of bounce around and twirl around in circles. And then when they come in, small little taps holding it still. And they come in and they're able to suck that bait right in. So it's a tungsten jig, the two inch gulp minnow. I don't know if there's anything to it. Maybe the fish are just biting today. But I've had some success on this pat on this lure in the past. So let's keep fishing, see if we can't pull a couple more up before we start doing a little bit more walleye action. Big one came out of nowhere and just popped this thing. Come on. He's all wrapped up. See if they can land him here. There he comes up the hole. Oh man. These things have a face only a mother can love, but you get a lot of meat off of these things if you know how to clean them right. Coming out to the Fox River, hitting the walleyes in the morning and the afternoon, this is a good way to bide your time and it is so fun to watch them hit that bait right underneath the water. You are one ugly. Time to go free. Another one, sight fishing these things is a blast. Man, it kills the time, and they are all big on the river here. That one came right up the hole as soon as I set the hook. He came out of nowhere. He took one swipe at it, circled back around, and popped it. Man, they're fun to catch. Like I said before, they are good eating. You gotta know what you're doing with the knife, but you get a lot of meat off these fish. All right, we're gonna give this a little while longer before we get back to the walleye action. Oh, 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 oh. 
need. There's creepers. These things are strong. Easy, 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 easy. If you want to have a good time on the river during the day, come out here and throw some plastics at these things. They fight like crazy even when they're out of the hole. These things don't stop moving. It is a blast. All right, I think that's enough white fishing. Back to the walleye fishing. So sadly no more fish were caught during the afternoon, but those white fish, they are an underrated fish to catch. Not out here, but in the central part of the state where I grew up, people don't really try to get out here to catch white fish. They're great eating if you know what you're doing with a knife, and that sight fishing, there's nothing like it. But you know what's coming up? It's almost March, which means the walleye spring run is right around the corner, what I like to call the walleye rut. So if you like these videos, subscribe. I'm going to be out here a ton this spring because I live right down the road. Hope to give you guys some fishing reports. I'll see you next time. Almost lost it, old boy.